It's been about a year since I've done a video on supplements, so I thought I would share an entire day's worth of intake of the things I consider supplements. So first thing every day, I wake up and that falls out. It literally falls out every day, which is fun. I got my water right here and I fill this up. And what I use is zero water, water filtration. Uh, I absolutely love this. I'll have links for everything in the description below, but this is the best water filter on the market. It comes with its own water tester. So we'll check that water very frequently. I've been using zero water since before I started CrossFit. So that's just about 10 years. And in that water, I literally never drink water just by itself. I put apple cider vinegar and you go unpasteurized with the mother. You want the good stuff right here. About two tablespoons go in there. That's about a tablespoon. That's about a tablespoon goes in there. Just a splash. Along with that, in the morning, I get my vitamin D. These are the specific vitamin D capsules that I use. So basically we want to stick with vitamin D3 in capsule form. And if you're very low on vitamin D, which you can find out with a blood check, you can get larger capsules, but 2000 to 5000 IU a day is just about right. So I just go with 2000 a day. You have have to lay in the sun naked for days and days and days to get enough vitamin D from the sun. If I'm outside working out with my shirt off, it's not because I'm looking for vitamin D, it's because I like sun. That's not the only thing that goes in my water. I also have Himalayan sea salt that goes in my water every morning. This is my standard half teaspoon measure. So I use this half teaspoon every day. I go with about a half of a half a teaspoon into my water every morning. Give this a little shake. I've had apple cider in my water for about the same 10 years. Uh, I discovered it about 10 years ago. I had daily heartburn and I started adding apple cider vinegar to my water and within a few days that completely cleared up. There's dozens of benefits to apple cider vinegar online. You'll discover the amazing elixir benefits. I mean, it's really good stuff. Next is coffee. So I don't just love coffee, I like bulletproof coffee. Here's how I make it and I don't do it for any kind of qualities except that it's just yummy and I like it. And I actually put a couple of supplements in there as well. Let's do it. Got my coffee pot. So what goes into my cup here is just about a half a tablespoon of grass fed butter that goes in a scoop of MCT powder. I use creatine monohydrate, which requires a teaspoon. So two of these go in black label has creatine monohydrate as well. When I'm done with this, I switch over to black label on that. Next is just some cinnamon about that much. will do one little puff of cinnamon goes in there and fill it up with coffee. Then we put on the cruise blender. So what's pretty cool about this blender is that this is a hydro flask and this fits right on the lid. So as I unscrew this, give this a little rinse off. I got my bulletproof coffee right there. Oh, so good and I'll enjoy it in its scalding hotness all day in this cup. After breakfast, I normally get ready for my first training session, so I fill three water bottles. Here we go. All right, here's what goes in my waters. In my yellow water or any kind of brightly colored shaker bottle, I put my Element. I use Element as part of my pre-workout every day, and it is grapefruit season. Grapefruit Element is now released. I can't wait to try it. It's on its way to me right now. The reviews are in. It's absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to get that myself. Element is the perfect blend of sodium, potassium, and magnesium, which are the building blocks of hydration and electrolyte. I like to use that as a pre-workout, so I should drink about, I don't know, three quarters of this prior to my training session, and then after my training session, I'll finish that off. The US government says we need around two to three grams of sodium a day, but science-backed research shows we need more like six to eight grams of salt a day, especially for athletes. And as we move into the summer season, I don't just take one of these a day, I'm at two or three of these a day in order to stay really well hydrated in double training sessions for the games. And my viewers get a free sample pack with every order when they use my link, drinkelement.com forward slash Jason Grubb. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com forward slash Jason Grubb. In addition, I use Black Label Beta Alanine. That goes in my pre-workout as well. Is that all of their supplements and ingredients are third-party tested. Uh, so the fact that they do testing prior to and after packaging just says a lot about the importance that they put on third-party testing. They support collegiate athletes, they support CrossFitters, they support masters athletes like me. So that third-party testing is absolutely huge because I never, ever, ever want to have some sort of a tainted batch and have that affect a drug test at the CrossFit Games. That would be devastating. All right, screw that on. 
give that a little bit of a shake. In my black shaker bottle, I go with black label, hydrolyzed whey protein isolate. And we really like hydrolyzed whey protein isolate. Gosh, that's a mouthful because of its fast absorption. So this is a post-workout drink for me, and I do two of these a day because I'm doing two training sessions a day. I want them to go in really quickly. And basically by the end of my session, I've got an empty stomach. I don't wanna have something that's filling me up. I want something that goes in and absorbed quickly. Now here's the magic. I use the Cruise Blender to blend this stuff. So if we see in there, I mean, we know that we can get a ball and shake it around in there, but man, this blender screws on like this, Turn upside down. Give that a blend. And check out this frothiness. I mean, I wanna drink this right now. Look at that. Like, that's unbeatable right there. So rinse that off. And that's done. Shaker bottle number two is done. Shaker bottle number three this is slightly unconventional and I pretty much only do this during the hottest time of the year where I'm trying to stay hydrated throughout an entire training session or two in a day. And I'm just pouring sweat, especially here in Dallas, Texas, where we're recording this. So this is just, this is nothing special. Standard Gatorade, one scoop goes in, and this is just gonna help me top off a little bit of carbohydrates and sugars with a little bit of salt during my training session. So that's it. We're ready for a training session. Then it's time for bed and it's time for one last water bottle. And in this water bottle, I'm gonna have some Thirdsy Nighttime Recovery Collagen. And I want this to absorb really well so that I don't have to pee in the middle of the night. So I'm gonna give this a, almost a full half teaspoon of salt. And when I do that, I make it through the night without having to go to the bathroom. And I'll show you how much fluid I drink before I go to bed. Give that a good shake. So here's my nighttime recovery drink. That's delicious. It's not nighttime right now, so I'm gonna save this for tonight. So when it's all said and done, this is my entire supplement stack for a day. We kick it off with vitamin D in the morning. This is the most absorbable vitamin D and we need it every day. It's an essential element and it's just one of those things that I can't get in the food that I eat. And that's how I think of supplements. I think of supplements as something that supplements what I can't get in a day by eating a pound of ground beef every night and eggs in the morning and all those kinds of things, okay? Vitamin D is part of that. Apple cider vinegar is something that helps flavor water for me. I mean, I really don't like the flavor of just plain water. So if I didn't have apple cider vinegar, I'd use like lemon or limes or something like that to flavor my water. But I just know that this has a lot of health benefits and it helped me kick heartburn 10 years ago. So I'm gonna stick with it. I've got Element, which you guys have heard me talk about many times, which is gonna help me stay hydrated through my training sessions. And even on rest days, I'm getting at least one Element in a day because we need to have an appropriate amount of salt, magnesium, and potassium in our lives every day. So whether it's a training day or just an average day, I wanna make sure I'm topped off with my electrolytes. Then I've got creatine monohydrate, which is about the most researched supplement on the planet. It's super safe, it's totally fine to take. I just started taking this about nine years ago and I take one and a half teaspoons a day, period. It just goes in with my coffee, with my Bulletproof coffee, as you saw, and I'm never gonna deviate from it. You can get this anywhere, but we really want creatine monohydrate. Keep it really simple with that. As far as when to take creatine, it doesn't matter. It occurs naturally in the food that we eat, but this just helps make sure that we are totally topped off on creatine, and timing with creatine doesn't matter. Before workouts, after workouts, in the morning, at night, just as long as you remember to take it every day. So for me, that's why it goes into my morning coffee. I just do that every day. So it reminds me and I never miss it. Since we're talking about that morning coffee, I've got unsalted butter and MCT oil powder. These are just a couple of extra fats to add into my life. These are something that I just like in my coffee. I started drinking Bulletproof coffees years ago and I like it. So I've actually adjusted all of my overall macros to make sure that I can afford these fats. These are healthy, great fats for us because we need them in our life. Then we have beta alanine, which is like creatine, something that's found in red meat, naturally in foods. We need a certain amount every day. This, like creatine, helps me just top off that amount to maximize my performance every day. And I've also researched that it doesn't matter when you take this, but it does create kind of a tingly feeling. So some people like to take it with their pre-workout, they get that tingly feeling, and they think it supercharges their workout. I haven't necessarily found that. I just find that, again, out of a habit of routine, I just add this with my element 
to that pre-workout drink. I want to get salt, electrolytes into my system, get beta alanine in my system. So I just do that before my workouts. Protein powder. So there's lots of kinds of protein powder. I talked earlier about protein isolate. It's fast absorption. That's what I'm looking for. And I am looking to get 200 to 220 grams of protein in my life a day. That's actually so much to try to get in. If I'm using eggs, I'm using meat, I'm using yogurt to help me get there. I think of protein as a supplement to help me top off those numbers in a given day. I tend to be really thirsty after I work out. So I've got two sessions a day right now. That's two shaker bottles of protein. So it not only helps me hydrate post-workout, it also gets me about 25 grams of protein per serving. So that's 50 grams of protein that I can get here that I don't have to chew and swallow, which is just a lot of work sometimes. Then there's third seed. I used to take a couple of supplements every night, magnesium, I took L-tryptophan in order to help me sleep or get a great night's sleep. That's built in to Thirdsy along with collagen and L-theanine, which are all ingredients that help promote great sleep. So when Thirdsy sent this to me to try out like a year and a half ago, I mean, I was skeptical. I didn't want to add more to my entire lineup here. I tested it out for a week and I saw my recovery numbers on my Whoop at the time just go through the roof. I didn't change anything else. I wasn't like sleeping more or doing sonic. It was just, just this. It was absolutely fantastic. So I'm sold on this. I've taken it every night for the past 18 months. And man, I, it's non-addictive, but I have the habit of just wanting to stick with the things that work for me. So I always have an extra bag in reserves just in case. And then we have Himalayan sea salt. I'm trying to get six to eight total grams of salt in my life every day. So half a teaspoon goes in my morning water. Half a teaspoon goes in my nighttime recovery along with third seed. And if I'm drinking water throughout the day, I'm often adding apple cider vinegar and just a little bit of salt to make sure that I'm getting enough salt throughout the day. It doesn't matter if it's Himalayan sea salt or just regular table salt. This just tends to have a, a broader base of minerals. So I'm gonna go for it. I like it. Finally, we've got caffeine, coffee and grinds. This wakes me up in the morning and caffeine is just a straight up stimulant. Caffeine improves performance and is also known to improve physical performance. So I actually, quit chewing tobacco a few years ago and I replaced that with grinds. It's just a behavior replacement. These just look like tobacco pouches. And for those that chew tobacco, you know, like, you know that stuff, this is a great behavior replacement and it's got a little bit of caffeine in it. So pre-workout, probably pop one of these in out of habit and a little bit of caffeine can help that workout go a little bit better. That is my entire supplement intake for a single day. Uh, it's not too much, I think it's fairly reasonable. That's what works for me. So find what works for you, test different things out, check with your healthcare provider if you're concerned about any of these things. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, be happy to answer anything. Thanks for watching guys, and remember, your best days are ahead of you. Get bolder, not older. See ya.